Um, so I guess I was a dick too. And then I uh, taught you a real lesson. Yeah, it was pretty funny though. So I had to go. Out, I had to go out with like literally where I was normally like really casual and low energy. I had to go out with like sparklers and fucking like I think I did like a fucking triple lutz onto the stage, like trying to keep the crowd's attention. I was like, "Fuck!" You're like, "Hey, have a round of applause for all the men and women serving overseas." <laughs> <laughs> Just keep. We were talking about all the hater. Me and Barry were talking about all like the haters on Twitter and people just talk shit. And Barry right. goes, "Let me tell you something. You want to know why Whitney has a sitcom? Because she fucking wrote it, and she sold it, and she breaks her ass." Here's another story. And then he wiped his fucking teeth. <laughs> Barry Katz, the only guy I've ever seen wipe his teeth mid conversation. Like when, like, when, like when there's a little Jesus. bit of rain and your windshield, you would wipe your car that right. one time. Like Barry will go, let me tell you something. And just wipe his fucking teeth. So he wipes it with like a beach towel. It's just, <laughs> there's so much teeth there. A ball gets played off the wall by Johnny Damon. Gets off the, <laughs> Johnny Damon plays a ball of Barry's teeth, throws it in. So Barry goes, let me tell you a little story. Nick Swartzen, a friend of ours, right? Nick Swartzen was fired by his management company after his special aired. I think it was Dave Becky or somebody. I don't know who it was. It was, it was Dave Becky, yeah. Dave Becky. His special airs, they drop them. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <sighs> Nick calls me in New York at my office. It's a Sunday. You know, Barry gets held up on weird parts of the story that don't matter. Right. It's a Sunday. You know, like you spend all day Saturday and like four minutes later. So it's a Sunday. It's a sun. I'm like, I got it. Goes, yeah, you have Nick, to explain what Sunday is. Sunday. Some people say it's the first day of the week and then other people say it's the last day of the week, depending on what calendar you go. <laughs> she goes, Nick Swartzen goes, can I come to your office and use your copier machine, man? And he comes in. He's got a backpack. And the kid looks like he's been through some trauma, man. <laughs> and he takes out one of those spiral notebooks. You know those old spiral notebooks from <laughs> high school? Those binder, those spiral notebooks. It'll say three or, you know, they'll have partitions for chat. And old, sp I'm like, yeah, notebook I got. He goes, and he wrote, uh, Malibu's Most Wanted for Jamie Kennedy. He goes, I want to get this to my friend Jamie. Handwritten an entire script and spent Sunday. Copying it and sending it to people. That's why story. Nick Swartzen's fucking successful. Because on a Sunday with a spiral notebook, <laughs> oh he came God. in. So Barry was like super telling all the morons and warriors and more, I don't know what else their names are. Huh? Maureen. The Maureens and the Mormons and the ultimate warriors. Like, if you want it, go fucking do it. Like Nick Swartzen did it. So we met through Barry and then you saw the NyQuil up close. Yeah, we started doing stand-up, then you were like, we were driving to Phoenix, and you're like, I'm going to pull over real quick. And you go and fucking buy two bottles of NyQuil, and then you proceeded to drink it while you're driving, and halfway through the road trip, you looked over, and it looked like you had literally eaten out a fucking Avatar's <laughs> asshole. Your fucking mouth was so blue, it looked like 50 fucking Smurf dicks had fucking exploded. Like, and I didn't drink it well. Like, I spilled it all over my bed. Yeah. <laughs> I was just sitting there in the shotgun seat, just like, am I going to fucking, what is happening right now? What's going to happen to me? <laughs> is this dude just going to float off into fucking... Nick's like, you drink NyQuil, you have a fucking problem. Where can we buy booze and coke? Yeah. I'd a never... real fucking party. And heroin. And let's do fucking acid all day. Jesus. That's your thing. Acid all day. No, God. I know your type, Swartz. And you come in from Minnesota, you and Louis Anderson. And well, I don't Pete. fucking do drugs. That's a bit misconception. You and Louis Anderson all day with you. I'm tripping balls off. How about you, Nick? I don't do drugs. That's everybody thinks that I'm a big drug addict. I always joke about I cocaine. Know you're not a drug addict. I always joke about cocaine and shit. I don't smoke pot. Everybody thinks that like. I know for a fact that you're not a drug addict. Yeah. But you jumped on that pretty hard. Like, well, I just want people to know because I don't like that out there. Like people, I, well, I don't, want I don't like that I reputation. Like <laughs> <laughs> come on, you want to like again? Come on. Nick, what are you doing? Yeah. Fucking the town. You want to like again? Fucking forget it. Uh, yeah, I don't even like the Lakers. I'm not a Laker fan. I don't like them either. I think they could eat a bag of dicks. I like the Knicks and you like the Timberwolves. We're both fucking idiots. We're both fucked. The best was the best. <laughs> The best was I'm at a bowling alley like a year or two ago. Dwight Howard's there, like two lanes down from me in L.A. 
And I'm like, oh, fuck, it's Dwight Howard. He looks over, he sees me, recognizes me. He's like, yo, what's up, man? So I walk over, and he's like, you're yeah, an actor, comedian, right? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you're funny. I was like, thanks, man. I was like, dude, I love the magic. I'm friends with uh, JJ Reddick and shit. And he was like, oh, cool. And uh, and then I was like a little drunk, and so I just decided to be a fucking idiot. And I just go, what's up with Kobe Bryant? And Dwight Howard goes, what? And I go, that guy's like a fucking asshole, right? <laughs> and it was just like <laughs> so awkward. And he just goes, no, I mean, I, I know him. And I was like, right. Okay, later. <laughs> I just like totally threw this stupid wrench into the fucking conversation I was having. It's so nice with Dwight Howard. But you seem to do it a lot in life because your special, your DVD and CD that I have that I play in my truck. My wife and I were driving back from San Francisco listening to... Party or Seriously Who Farted? Seriously Who Farted. Yeah. No, it was Party. Excuse me. You're right. Because it's you. It's a big party on the cover. Yeah, it's me holding a 40 with a fucking tattoo on my chest. And you go, uh, a guy's at a urinal and you, you're you at the urinal next to him and you just look at the guy and you didn't know what to say. So you went, Party. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm constantly putting party. Foot What's up with fucking Kobe? You should have said party to Dwight Howard and the guy at the urinal. You should have said, "What's up with fucking Kobe Bryant?" And the guy at the urinal would have went, "Right, party." I mean, right, gargle. <laughs> what was the bit about your taking your cat to the vet that I love so much? Why don't you walk us through that bit, Nicholas? Um, it's one of my favorite jokes. Uh, I I I go, oh, my cat. I have a cat. He's sick right now. He has diarrhea. And I brought him to the vet, and the vet goes, what have you been feeding him? And I go, diarrhea. <laughs> and the best was, when I first started coming up as a comedian, Variety, which is like the big Hollywood magazine here, uh, they did a whole thing about ten young comics to watch. So they picked me as one of the ten comics. And a lot of my jokes are really long, and that joke's really short, so they put that as like... The example of why I'm like one of the top young comics to watch. They put my cat yeah. diarrhea Don't sleep joke. On this guy. <laughs> yeah. They put my stupid cat He's diarrhea. A dandy. Nicholas Swanson, he does it all. Diarrhea jokes with the cat. Diarrhea, baby, Dickie V. So I'm on the plane and I have the magazine with me. And my buddy fucking Howard from Jersey like grabs the stewardess. He's like, hey, my buddy's fucking blowing up. He's in this magazine. And she l- looks at it. She goes, can I borrow this? And I go, yeah. She fucking goes to the front of the plane, gets on the intercom thing. And she goes, hey, everybody, we have a stand-up comedian on, fl- on the flight today. And they're like, in th- row 35C or whatever. And everyone's turning around. I'm just like, oh, my God, this is not happening. She goes, he's a comedian, and here's one of his jokes. She reads the fucking joke uh, out of the magazine and gets it totally wrong. She just goes, he has a cat. It's got diarrhea. It eats diarrhea. And the whole fucking plane is staring at me like I'm the biggest idiot piece of shit. And it was like a flight to like New York from L.A. It was like a six-hour flight. I just had to sit there. Well, everybody who went to the bathroom just stared at me like I was fucking Bin Laden's dick. Thought, and then she used it to wipe up her own diarrhea. She used what? The article, then she used the article to wipe up her own diarrhea. Yeah, and then slap me in the face with it. Sprayed it. it. <laughs> Make a stink. <laughs> fucking chloroform the pilot with a variety with your wet diet with her wet diary on it. I yeah. probably took that too far. It's fine. It deserted. <laughs> hey, everybody. Nick Swartzman. This cat has diarrhea. <laughs> Here he is. Stand Give up. Him a, stand, stand, stand up. up. <laughs> but you can't stand up all the way because of the luggage rack. So you're hunched over like a prawn. So I knock myself out. I stand <laughs> up and fucking... Hit my head, and then they have to like revive me with you're shitting so, in my mouth. You're, you're so excited that you, up, <laughs> you jump out of your seat and hit your head. The oxygen mask, <laughs> the oxygen mask <laughs> falls down right as you're coming around and hits you in the eye, and you go, oh, oh. good one, Maddie. Oh my Christ. God, you make me laugh, Nicholas. We did, a lot. we did Irvine a lot, Bray. We did a lot of Orange County, and then a lot we did of Orange uh, County. Phoenix. That's the drive where I hit that fucking bird with my windshield. You had, a, you say, had a Mercedes S5. S5. Shit was tight. Rolling. I ride sick. spinners. I ride spinners. Shit was tight. And when you hit a bird, you were going 120 miles an hour on cruise control, and it was I almost fucking threw up. It was just the grossest. <laughs> It was so fucking gross. It hits the windshield like a fucking apple. Just <laughs> explodes blood and guts all over the fucking windshield. 
And I remember I, was I start gagging, you. and you're like, "Holy fuck!" Well, yeah. <laughs> Like, I thought it was a fucking pterodactyl or something. It was so fucking big. And then you turn on the wipers, and the fucking guts are just going all over the windshield. I, I, I could you... barely jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> I did that as a bit that whole weekend. I did it for a bit for... I'll dip into that once You in did a it while. for a while, yeah. It's a good bit for, like, a corporate, because I could do it completely clean. But it is, like, raises the question of... Like, do you know how hard it is to hit a bird? That's what fascinated me about the whole thing after the fact. And the me, the, right when it happened, I'm like, this is a brand new Mercedes. This is not cool that it's covered in blood. People are going to think of fucking Ray Carruth making a run for it on the, t- hey yo, could have said OJ, went somewhere else with it, face, scoreboard, but just. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And you. <laughs> And Nick goes, oh, my God, that poor bird, that poor bird. You just kept saying it over and over. And I'm like, I have a fucking ruined Mercedes. Who cares? I'm like, look, there's another bird. I'm pointing out the window. And you know what? I was a dick because I remember I had the sunroof open, not all the way open, just where the, it's glass. And I'm like, look, there's another bird right there, dude. You know what else you don't see right here? Another Mercedes. You see, look around. Look around, That's right. Like, I remember that. And you're like, I was really bird, upset. The I'm poor like, bird. The, and I'm like, my fucking car, dude. It's covered in guts. It was literally looked so gross. It looked like Andre the Giant like <laughs> threw up spaghetti marinara. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> it was so awful. <laughs> <laughs> It was so awful. Into Big John's head's hair. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to get it out. It looked like Andre the Giant threw up some candy there and, there. <laughs> and Big John studs the long blonde hair, then shaved Ow. the hair in the vomit and then threw it on the windshield. Ugh. Or the way you said it was fine, too. Or <laughs> Bort. <laughs> Bort. And I drink a lot of NyQuil on that trip. That was a big NyQuil, big NyQuil trip for you. Did my personality change when I drank the NyQuil? Not really, no. It was weird. It it made you, like, energetic, which was really bizarre. Like, you weren't, like, catatonic or anything. You were, like, it would, like, pep you up. It was fucking weird. Yeah, I was an addict. It's like when I smoked grass, I used to get super hyper, too. And I was super, like, goal or he did like those commercials about pot when the guys on the couch are like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow, man. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that guy's deal is. If I smoke grass, I'm going to manicure my lawn with fucking tweezers. I just remembered another fucking story. I don't. This is, oh, I forgot about this one. It makes me laugh. I think you'll think this is funny. I think, <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> I remember I was so fucking broke. I was living in a studio apartment. And I had no money. So I, you know, opened for you and, uh. Say that like it's community service. No, no, no. You were great. You I had fucking. I opened for you. You know, the judge was like, do you want to pick up trays on the highway or open for Jay Moore? <laughs> you had to do 20 minutes. Sometimes you might have to go cold, you know? Uh. That was Colin Dangerfield. That's amazing. Sometimes you had to go cold, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, one time, this is so good. You called me up. You're like, I'm doing a college. You want to go with me? I'm like, yeah, okay. You just like just do it twenty minutes. I'm like, okay, how much? Why do I sound like a lesbian? I don't know. I'm having fun with your impression. Hey. So you go. So you go. I go. How much? And he go, hundred bucks. I go, what? Hundred bucks. And then you go, dude, what the fuck? And I go, can I have a little more? I'm like sleeping in a studio apartment. Like I'm doing twenty minutes, and you go. Fine, I'll give you two hundred. And I'm like, thank you. And he, and then you go. By the way, I'm not fucking getting that much for this college anyway. And I go, what are you getting? And you go, I'm only getting twenty grand. And I was like, fuck. I go, I want a thousand. You're like, no, fuck. I shouldn't have said that. I was like, what you college fuck. was it? It was yeah. the one where they fucking spazzed out on you for being for being. They said your Schindler's List. Joke was a uh, racist. My what? Remember your Calvin Klein ads? As they it was said, it looked Cal. like it was Cal Berkeley, and we drove up together. We drove up. So Cal, Ber- I do remember that. And by and I remember saying to you, 
uh, before this phone call, it was zero dollars. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. Like, what's your problem? I'm going to drive you there, put you up, we'll hang out, and I'll hand you to, uh, $200. And just for taking a fucking car ride with me, man. What's your problem? Yeah, that's right. That's Before right. Before this call, it was zero. I don't get it, Nick. What's your deal? <laughs> Fuck. You know what? Fuck the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember? And then you go, we did the gig, and you did that joke. You go, Calvin Klein ads. I said, does anybody remember when models used to be pretty? Holy smokes. Have you seen a Calvin Klein ad? It's like Schindler's List with